President Reagan made continuity of government a priority. Overseeing the program were two rising young officials, former Chief of Staff Donald Rumsfeld and a congressman named Dick Cheney. They role-played doomsday scenarios with top-level staffers in drills led by Jim Wink. Basically, it was cabinet-level officials and secluding them for, we'd do it for anywhere from three to six days, okay? Actual cabinet-level yes. officials. Yes, and we learned a lot doing that. We'd have a, a scenario that was a nuclear war. Washington, D.C. would get wiped out. The president of the United States would be killed, and the senior candidate out there would become the president. The way the exercises were carried out was in utmost secrecy, and they would tell no one, not even their wives, where they would be. For some, the exercise would end in a subterranean fortress. What would it be like to live out a disaster deep in Mount Weather? The site is 64 miles west of D.C., in Virginia. Satellites can peer at facilities on the surface, but not at the secrets below. 300 feet underground is a massive complex. Carved out of Precambrian basalt, there are 20 multi-story buildings. Water reservoirs, 200 feet across. A sewage treatment plant for long-term survival. A hospital right on site. A broadcast studio where the president can keep the American people posted and prepared. Even a crematorium. Mount Weather has enough supplies for 200 personnel for a month, but it's stocked with enough bunks for 2,000. Government and military leaders, even the president, imagine the life they must be prepared for. It's one thing to sit in a room in the Pentagon and drink a cup of coffee and pretend you're the chief of staff. It's another thing to be in a Timbuktu dark hole with people that you're confined with for days operating as a government. And that's reality. And that's what we tried to give them. 